Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be testing out ballistic armor in Grand Theft Auto Online, and we're going to find out if it's worth purchasing, what it does, and everything about it, because I've actually never owned ballistic armor, I'm pretty sure at least. This week, ballistic armor is on sale, so that's why I'm doing this, of course. If you're watching this in the future, it probably will not be on sale unless it is again at some point in the near future. But anyways, it's going to cost $500,000 regularly, $250,000 on discount because it's 50% off this week. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Uh, it's 250 grand. Now, I'm not exactly sure how you actually access this. So let's try to find out. Okay, you can now request a ballistic equipment drop via the health and ammo section of the interaction menu. Okay, that's very interesting. So that's how you do it. Okay, cool. Okay, ballistic equipment services. So we can request it. And every time you request it, it's going to cost an additional five grand. That is kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. For the 500,000 you're already spending to then ask for like more. Okay, whatever, I guess. That's okay. Um, we've requested the ballistic armor and I don't quite see it yet i'm assuming oh it pops up like literally right in front of you where where is this it should be like it's it's beeping at me but i don't oh oh it's coming in oh i see oh, okay so it drops in oh that's really cool actually okay all right well let's see this i've never used ballistic armor before we got it you equip the ballistic armor in mini oh there it is okay i was like what I picked up the minigun, but uh, the ballistic armor, not so much. Okay, so with ballistic armor, I actually didn't know this. I assumed that you couldn't move very fast with it. I guess in first person, yeah, you're moving very, very slow. But um, it basically looks like this. Um, it's like juggernaut armor from Call of Duty or uh, bomb defusal armor from real life, which is what the juggernauts are based off of in COD. Uh, basically just really heavy, explosive, resistant armor. So that's pretty cool. It definitely looks pretty cool. Ballistic armor is actually really neat. It looks like it's got a little bit of like a carbon fiber like weave to it, if I'm not mistaken on some of it. Or maybe that's just supposed to be like Kevlar or something like that. But it also comes with this like very silver minigun. I'm not sure if that is how my minigun usually looks, but uh, when you are in ballistic armor, it says you are unable to access the weapon wheel. So that is kind of interesting. Okay, so you do move probably just a little bit slower than you otherwise would um, if you didn't have ballistic armor equipped. Uh, I am fully sprinting right now as fast as I can go, and this is how fast we're moving, which I do believe is a little bit slower than how I normally would be moving. Something also just blew up, which I'm not really sure what that was. It might have been a proximity mine, because I, I, uh, I just filmed the Declassy Weaponized Tampa customization and review that came out yesterday, so that could have been a proximity mine. Oh. Oh, it certainly was. It certainly was. The police are after me. Okay, well, you know what? That works because I was going to uh, start testing this thing out. So let's go ahead and see. Now, I do believe that this thing has infinite ammo. It does sort of seem that way. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn on my HUD and make sure that I can see um, if this thing does have infinite ammo. And it does appear that it does. So that's cool. Um, so far, so good. Uh, we're, we're lasting quite a while in this thing, it seems like. Um, I'm actually very curious to turn on my radar and find out if there's like an additional armor section on the radar with the ballistic armor. Let's go ahead and do that quickly. Um, okay, my health is going down very slow, actually. So there's no additional like armor, it doesn't look like, um, unless that was already equipped and it's already come off. The minigun also seems like it might be doing additional damage in comparison to the regular minigun that you that you can just get you know at the best of times maybe that's you know hence the uh, the chrome minigun that this thing seems to come with um but you can definitely last a long time with ballistic armor which i'm actually pretty surprised about i was not expecting to be able to um, last for so long so that is kind of cool um definitely 
definitely interesting. It's definitely a little bit different. I kind of wish that you could equip um, different weapons. I think that that would be really cool. It'd be nice to be able to switch out and, you know, use the heavy sniper mark two or something like that. Uh, but I totally see why that's not a thing because you'd be you'd be pretty OP in a uh, in a sniper fight um, with this armor on because it doesn't even it wouldn't even really matter if they hit you or not. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're gonna be all right anyways. So um, this is pretty good though. Like I have a five star. And we're doing well. Like, we're not doing bad. The, the cops are really not putting that much pressure on me. Um, I've just dropped below half health, it looks like. So, not bad, really. Like, not bad at all. And there's a, there's a lot of police here to contend with. So, we're doing pretty good. Now, unfortunately, if I was to, you know, try to get away, um, I'm not going to be able to get away very quickly in this armor. Um, you know what I am very curious about, though, is if I can actually enter a vehicle. So let's see if we can find this out before I uh, before I subside here. Can I drive with wearing this? No, I cannot. Okay, so you don't appear to be able to drive while wearing ballistic armor. Kind of figures. I think you would be pretty bulky inside the you know driver's seat of a vehicle. So I guess that makes a lot of sense, honestly. I mean, for two hundred and fifty grand, I do think that the ballistic armor is like pretty worth. Like this is actually quite fun. I kind of can't believe that I've never done this before. Um, I've never used this or, you know, tried it out for myself. Um, it's actually pretty good. I kind of see why people, you know, use it. You, you'll often see uh, people using ballistic armor in free mode sessions. Now, when you do call ballistic armor, it does say that in side chat session wide. So if you're trying to be sneaky and get into uh, ballistic armor without, you know, being noticed, um, that is going to be a problem because it does say like session wide, I, I do believe. Um, at least it used to that, you know, so-and-so has requested, you know, ballistic armor uh, and minigun. So that is something to keep in mind if you do, you know, like to play, you know, without getting a lot of attention and with your, with your PVPing or whatever. Um, so definitely something to keep in mind, but um, I have finally passed on now and it's been about about four minutes of, of five-star, um, you know, police um, against me while wearing the ballistic armor and then of course when you do get destroyed um, it says your ballistic equipment has been destroyed there's a short delay before another can be called via the health and interaction menu let's go ahead and find out what that delay actually is it doesn't it doesn't say um, so that's kind of annoying I have a feeling it's probably like five or ten minutes it's probably not too too long uh, but that still is a little bit of an inconvenience at least when you do request it, it does drop in like right on top of you so that is really cool but that is definitely something to keep in mind if you're planning on using ballistic armor for like pvping and stuff like that it's going to have a short delay after you you know get destroyed or whatever but at least it does drop in right on top of you so when you you know run out of the timer um, you can request it back again and it should just drop right on top of you again so that's not too bad um, ballistic armor overall pretty fun for 250 grand and then five grand to request i can't really be mad about it i don't think it's bad for 500 grand and five grand to request every time I think I could be a little bit more mad about it. Um, on discount, it's definitely a lot more worth it, as you would expect, obviously. Uh, but for full price, I, I don't really know. Like, 500 grand isn't a ton of money in GTA anymore um, by today's standards. So it's not like you're spending like a ton of money. And it is pretty fun. It is pretty useful. But being that you can't get into vehicles and stuff like that, like, it does sort of start to seem not so worth it at the five hundred thousand dollar price tag like for 250 not so much like it's okay you could definitely pick it up and you wouldn't be too mad about it i don't think but for 500 grand and then five grand a time that you want to use it it starts to kind of feel a little bit steep in my opinion but anyway guys that's my review on ballistic armor in gta online so that was interesting. I'm glad I finally got to do that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care. Peace.